The Jews thought they were going to kill Jesus. What Allah did made someone look like Jesus, and the Jews killed that look-alike, thinking they had got rid of Jesus. And who made them think that they got rid of Jesus? Allah. How? By deceiving them. Think it just that if you're going to get your minds around something, get your minds around this. Allah makes everyone think that Jesus died by crucifixion, knowing knowing that this is going to start the world's largest false religion. Allah knows this. Allah knows this. So, I mean, think about this. Uh, who really, really messed things up for Jesus' followers? Allah. Muslims say, ah, Paul came in and corrupted Christianity. Now, Allah came in and corrupted Christianity according to Islam. My question goes to the pastor. Uh, you have been quoting Isaiah 53 as well as the book of Daniel that there are clear prophecies that Jesus is going to die and the death is going to save people. Uh, definitely, if this is true, it means certain knew about this yes. and he knew that this crucifixion will be a means of salvation to many. So how come in the book of Luke, chapter 22, 3 to 4, the same certain enters into Judas Iscariot and make him to betray Jesus so that Jesus can be betrayed? Are you saying that Satan is helping us to be saved? Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's the brilliant thing about God, is he's able to take even the intentions of the wicked and turn it on their head. So even though Satan might be trying to use this to destroy the plan of God, which I believe he is, um, God can still, in his foreknowledge, ordain it all, set it up so that things work out exactly the way he prophesied. So, he's asked, can, would, Satan, would God use what Satan's doing, if I understand the question correctly? I think he quoted Luke chapter 22, is this correct? 22, Luke, Luke 22, Satan entered into Judas. If you can cause Jesus to die in a manner contrary to Scripture, you have therefore broken the Scripture, and now everything falls to pieces. Because once you break one of the prophecies, cause it not to happen the way it said it would happen, it wasn't a matter of just Jesus had to die. He had to die in a very specific manner. So Satan entering into Judas... It's very easy to see that some other that, that the devil could have had some other plan trying to get Jesus sidetracked and out of the will of God to die the way that it was prophesied he would die. So my comment, my comment on that is uh, when we talk about uh, Judas Iscariot, uh, this is a man that played a, a very big role for the, the Christians today. And we, we find out that the Bible calls him Satan, not even inspired by Satan. If you read chapter 6 verse 70 of the book of John, it says he's 12 disciples and one of them was Satan. And the verse that the brother, the imam called, uh, called out right now, chapter 22 verse 3 of the book of Luke, says Satan entered into Judas. So Judas could go and be betray Jesus. So Satan played a very big role in the salvation of Christians. So the salvation is not from God, but it's, it's the plan, plan of Satan. Because uh, th that is quite clear. Satan is playing a very big role here. Uh, who really, really messed things up for Jesus' followers? So Satan played a very big role in the salvation of Christians. Paul came to think, apparently maybe at his conversion, right after his conversion, came to think that Jesus' death was absolutely the key to salvation, to being made right with God. And that since Jesus' death is what made people right with God, nothing else had any relationship to being right with God. It was only the death and resurrection of Jesus that mattered. Think about this. Um, why? 